Hey, thanks for the assist out there. And by the way, now that I've officially got the part again, it's not too late for me to pull some strings and get you a roll. I think I'm cool with sitting this one out. All right. Well, the door's open if I'm back for rank and file five. Although I heard R-Truth pitch the producers on making it an office drama with him as a star, and it's under strong consideration, so we'll see. Oh, by the way, I left tickets for my real parents again. No luck, though. Still doing that, huh? Yep. And who knows, maybe if they're not WWE fans, then they'll see me in the movie. Can't hurt. Yeah, I guess. Hey, before you go out for your match, you mind signing my script? <laughs> sure. May you always have a happy Thanksgiving. See? It is catching on. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Can you believe they're all the way up to rank and file seven now? No, I can't. I thought they would have stopped making them after your performance. Wow. Didn't realize this was a roast. No, it's just that you definitely had some interesting priorities earlier in your career. First, it was the movie. Then, you were obsessed with getting your own action figure. It was on the list since day one. Yeah, which made you super jealous when I got one before you did. Remember this? Are you still a little bit jealous? No. Are you sure? I think you're exaggerating how I reacted. <laughs> really? Because that's not how I remember it. My first action figure. Pretty cool, right? Awesome. They really nailed the detail in your face. You didn't even really look at it. Yeah, well, you know what they say about action figures. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all. Literally no one says that. Wait, are you jealous because you don't have one yet? No, I'm fine. Okay, look, I get it. This was more your thing, but it's just an action figure. It's more than that to me. Think of how you felt when I won a title in WWE before you did. It's like that, but ten times worse. Comparing titles to action figures might be a little extreme. But if it makes you feel any better, I'll wait and let you cross it off our list whenever you get one. No, it's fine. Cross it off. You earned it. I see you got your first action figure. We've had like 30 now, so it's kind of boring at this point. Where's yours? I think he didn't get one. <laughs> well, that's awkward. I think even, like, Tom Phillips got one. He doesn't really deserve it. <laughs> well, that's true. He's lucky even to be on the roster. <clears throat> Sorry, we got sidetracked with a private conversation that had absolutely nothing to do with you. But since apparently you don't have an action figure, we like to give you ours. Happy Rusev Day! Do you think he heard what we said? Who cares? He's a loser. <laughs> I heard he freaking jerks, and if I had an action figure of my own, I'd team up with Red's action figure to kick your action figure stupid plastic butts. Or even better, how about we take them down in real life? Huh? Oh, yeah. I guess we could do that. Each other in the ring for a variety of reasons. Tonight, Red and Trey are squaring off with Rusev and Lana because of, well, action figures. But from what I hear, Trey was throwing a tantrum because he didn't get an action figure and then was apparently offended when Rusev and Lana tried to graciously give him theirs. Hey, I do relate to Trey. I mean, you guys have them, but when am I going to get my own action figure? Never. Never, ever. Because nobody wants that, Saxton. The axe handle finds its target. So many different styles on display here in this mixed tag team match. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact! Big headbutt. He's looking a little stunned right now. Yeah, definitely off of his game. Really just laying it in. He's getting a little better now. Simply drop kick caught him. Some teeth. And what a reversal from Rusev. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. 
His offense is on point right now. He has the ability to turn it on in a heartbeat. Jumping neckbreaker. Ouch. Whoa, Rusev dodged that one. Oh, again. Rusev in a bit of trouble here. The stomp in every single part of his body. Set up for the front oh. leg sweep. Nicely done. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Going for it again. Rock splash! I don't know if Rusev could take much more of this. This is not good. I don't think Rusev knows where he is. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. Boom! Oh, what an uppercut. Jordan. And what a reversal from Rusev. Oh, heel kick. Right on point. Forearm to the kidneys. Oh. And now that one's countered. That was impressive, Michael. being the aggressor here. If he can sustain this kind of effort, the match is his. Trying to go for it again. Omega driver. He's got him down. This is it. Wow. Part of me thought that was it, Cole. Here's the cover. I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that. Well, Russo was on his way to La La Land, but he gets his head out of the noose and survives. And here we go, the elbow drop. And it's Rusev answering back. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. Look at that. Rusev is now bleeding profusely. Two, two. There is no quit in this man tonight. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. from Rusev. Three. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we get more punishment to his head. 
And the effects of assaults like this have a way of adding up in a hurry. He might have been waiting on that one. No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. This makes tags all over. What a victory. Here are your winners. Now that's an eye-opening victory. This guy impressed the hell out of me tonight, Michael. What a victory. And it looks to me like our winner is already thinking about the next match. Always one step ahead. In all seriousness, even though it wasn't as important to me, it was pretty cool when not long after that, you got your first action figure and crossed it off our list. But the fact we had different priorities is partly what made this work, because let's be honest, if we'd been competing for the same things, I'm not sure we could have been friends. You were just always so driven to be the best. Maybe, but it's not like I was only focused on individual goals. Like, what about when we went to SmackDown Live and I ended up teaming with someone who was a great influence and mentor to me? I'm talking about Mickey James, of course. Stand up and take a bow, Mickey. You deserve it. You fought hard, but it just wasn't your night. Let's face it, it hasn't been your night in a long time. Now, as general manager of SmackDown Live, it's my job to present a cutting edge product, which means constantly introducing new talent to keep our brand fresh and exciting. But we can't add new talent without making subtractions. So I'm sorry, Mickey, but based on your recent performance, you can either announce your retirement or unfortunately, I'll have to make that decision for you. Wait, so you're basically forcing her out? She deserves better than that. I understand where you're coming from, but like I said, this is bigger than one person. It's about protecting the brand. There would be no brand without women like Mickey James. You know what? It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I've been doing this a long time, and maybe I've lost a step. Maybe it's just time to hang it up. No! You can't just accept this. There has to be another way. Well, there is one other option, but it would just be delaying the inevitable. Mickey can continue competing on SmackDown Live, as long as she wins. But the very next match she loses is her last. She'll do it. I will. All right. Good luck. Look, I appreciate the support, but with my record as of late, I don't think I'll be sticking around too long. Or maybe you will with me by your side. Oh, what do you mean? Big Show didn't say you had to win singles matches. Are you sure you want to set aside your own goals to do this? There's nothing I'd rather do than protect your legacy by sending you out on a winning streak. And one last title run. Win women's tag team championships with Mickey James. Welcome everyone to the most iconic talk show ever, Iconic Talk, with your hosts, The Iconics. We just said iconic so many times. You said it again. I think we just set a record. Speaking of records, I want to remind everyone that we are now the longest running women's tag team champions ever from Australia. They're also the only women's tag team champions from Australia. Which brings us to my favorite segment of Iconic Talk. It's time for why, Why Australia, Australia is, is better. better. This is a part of the show where we educate our audience on different aspects of Australian culture and explain... Why Australia is better. Okay, what do we have this week? The great sport of cricket. Which has nothing to do with filthy little insects. No, it's actually a sport that is very popular in Australia. Think of it like a way better version of your horrible, dull baseball. To further educate you on this superior sport, let's go over the laws of cricket, shall we? There are only 
42 of them. Shouldn't take long. Law one. A cricket team consists of 11 players, including a captain. That's a great law. One of my favourites. Now, law two. Hey, what are these two doing out here? There were still 41 laws to go. I wanted to learn more about cricket. I think you were the only one. Law two. The Iconics should never be allowed to have a talk show as it'll put everyone watching to sleep. That's not an actual law. Yeah, don't listen to her. Why are you two even out here? It's very rude to interrupt someone's talk show. I recommend you go back and watch this segment we did on Manners. We're here because we want a tag team championship match. So you two are a team now. <laughs> what are you calling yourselves? Red and grey. <laughs> because Mickey's so old, get it? Hilarious, she really is a fossil. You've never even teamed before, so what makes you think you deserve a shot at our titles? Maybe because eight years ago in Calgary, I beat you in my very first match, and I've only gotten better since then. Way better. Oh, okay, so you're saying since a long time ago, I felt bad for my pathetic opponent and basically took the night off because I was freezing, that a decade later, when that pathetic opponent rears her ugly head with an elderly partner, they deserve a tag title opportunity? Makes sense. That was sarcasm. The answer is no. <laughs> if you think that we need to prove ourselves as a team, then we'll do it right now in a non-title match. If we win, we get a championship match. And if you win, you end my career. That whole career-ending stipulation is enticing. Yeah, I forgot about that. It would be nice to put her out to pasture. We'll do it. But only after we finish teaching everyone about cricket. Law three. Never interrupt the Iconics. The Iconics viciously attack Red and Mickey with those cricket bats. And rightfully so, they violated Law 3. Red and Mickey are going to be at a severe disadvantage going into this match with so much at stake. If you're just joining us, this is a nine title match with the stipulation that if Red and Mickey can defeat the Iconics, they earn a shot at their tag team titles. However, if the Iconics win, Mickey James' career will be over. And Red and Mickey are clearly not 100% after that brutal attack by the Iconics. Look, no one wants to see a pioneer like Mickey James have her career come to an end, but it's going to happen sooner or later, and I have a feeling it'll be sooner. As in tonight, at the hands of the Tag Team Champions. This is how people end up getting hurt. Nothing's gonna stop her now. She's looking good now. We'll see if it lasts. Drop kick! Interesting, there is the... Uh-oh, narrowly avoiding trouble. Yeah, that could have been bad. Oh, look at the, she's lost some of that energy she had earlier. I don't know how much longer she can go on absorbing all this punishment. She needs to find a way to make it to her corner and make the tag. Stomping, ouch. Split leg drop. Tagged in. She scurries out of there. Into the hammerlock. Oh boy. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Kick right to the midsection. What a great job by Peyton Royce to take advantage. Desperately needs to make a tag here. I don't know. It's going to be tough to make it to the corner. Looks like she's going to make it, Corey. Yeah, but looks can be deceiving, Cole. You know that. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. And 
scissors Ooh, take down. Oh, oh, very nice. Boom. Oh, oh, oh. oh, what an elbow. Uh-oh. High angle belly of back suplex. Wow. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? All the way for the top. Leaping high. She's taking a beating here. She really needs to make a tag here, guys. There's no way she can continue like this and expect to win the match. There's just no way. Knee drops. That was nasty. So precise. Oh, step up in Zagari. I think it's about that time, gentlemen. Time for it. Goes into the pin. And the shoulder's up. She saw the opening and got the shoulder up. She's got that gleam in her eyes. The Florida Keys! Connor Flush. This is not good. That could be it. We got a rope break. And it's Billy Kay showing some agility. She's taking charge here. She's flipped the switch, and the light is... Look out! Oh, again! Two! Back in from the floor. Somehow has to find a way to make a tag here. Completely agree. Getting the partner in here is absolutely vital. Come on. She makes an escape. Probably looking to catch her breath, I would guess. behind it. Amazing move there. A quick finish. Can she do it? Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. Anticipated that attack perfectly. She's taking some big hits here. I really like the resolve we've seen from her in this tag team match, guys. Though, I wouldn't be against the tag here. You know, just so she can gather herself a bit. Devastating kick. Changes her fortune there. Soul kick. And it's reversed. Paying for that mistake. She's got her. Oh, man, into the neck breaker. Oh. Needs to make it to the corner here, Corey. Oh, you're absolutely right, Cole. There's no way around it. A tag is vital at this point in the match. She returns the favor there. Big punch finds its mark. Oh, that's one way to bring it to her opponent. Big time. It's about that time, gentlemen. Penny predicament. Two. Save. Uh -huh. Still got more fight here. She's lining up with a big right hand. Here it comes. Boom. Absolutely has to make a tag here. Yeah, but that's easier said than done, Michael. They cut her off. And I can't stress enough how important it was for her to make the tag there. She wants to finish this. The Florida Keys! That could be it. To the second. And you know what that means? It means she probably has something even more than... And the cover for the win! This is it! Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. 
Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Shoulders on the back. What's it going to take to keep her down? She just will not give up. Cole. A spectacular maneuver. In off the tag. corner and make a tag. Otherwise, this match may be over sooner than later. Are we going to see the tag, Byron? I think so, Michael. I really do. What a great job by Peyton Royce to take advantage of. Oh, the Mick kick. Peyton Royce looking to close this thing out with the Venus fly trap. Oh! Make it the trifecta for another one. She's got the shoulders down. One, two, three. Oh, oh, goodness for the teammate. Nice. Just by in time. Oh, what a fall. Boom, right in the button. It could be over here. This is it. One, two, oh, how resilient was that? Just barely, but it counts. Right to the back of the neck. Look at this. Just inches, millimeters from a three count. Douse the move right there. I think it's about that time, gentlemen. Uh, for a forward shot. Whoa, not so fast. Shot block. She's licking her chops. Keys. That hit the spot. She's finished. I don't care. The cut. And this one's history. What a win. Here are your winners. And she picks up the win. These two girls make me think that we should have a women's tag team championship. Who do I have to talk to to get that done? That was awesome! And considering our lack of experience together, I'd say we make a pretty good team. I agree. I mean, you know what? I just want to say thank you for doing this. I could be sitting at home right now, but instead we have a chance to win the tag team championships. And even if my career does end, this is a heck of a way to go out. Before you celebrate too much, we just found out your tag title match will be taking place on our home turf. That's right, in our great country, in front of our fans at Super Showdown. It doesn't matter. We'll beat you anywhere. Oh, you should also know it's going to be an Australian rules tag match, which are the most iconic rules. What does that even mean? It means it'll be no disqualification, tornado tag. Or Willy Willy Tag, as we say down under. Hey, Mickey, you should pack an extra week of clothes. You know, so you can go on holiday in Australia after we end your career. We'll call our grandparents and see if they know of any good senior resorts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this matchup. The best teams around facing off for the titles. You have to believe the Iconics have a major advantage here tonight at Super Showdown. Competing in front of their home country fans in an Australian Rules Tag Team Championship match. And don't forget, Red and Mickey have the added pressure of Mickey's career being on the line. If they lose... Whoa! What a great job by Peyton Royce to take advantage. Oh, straight forearm. Oh, foot just stomping down. Interesting move here, taking the match to the outside. Mickey James was able to get out of there. Look, Mickey James is on the attack now. Oh, 
strong. From behind. Oh, again. She's really relying on that object a lot now. And I can't say that I blame her. There it is. Did you hear that crack? And she's getting fired up here. Yeah, she's getting after it, showing great energy. This is not where you want to be. Oh, man, into the neck breaker. Oh. Ah, that hurt. Climbing the ropes again. Look out. Incoming. Double stomp. Set up for the... It's another reversal. Going to the top, high risk. Looking stunned, looking rocked. What's up? Running Bulldog. Kick to the gut. Boom! Red goes for the Irish whip, but gets sent into the corner instead. And now here come the Iconics, pouring it on in front of their home crowd. This does not look good for Red and Mickey, and by extension, Mickey's career. What are the Iconics doing? Oh, I think it's time for a game of cricket. Red and Mickey have other plans. This is a bit of revenge for what took place before their match on SmackDown Live. And since Australian rules is no disqualification, it's perfectly legal. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but when Peyton Royce walks out wearing that iconic T-shirt, you can hear an audible groan from the crowd. I haven't noticed, but I'm sure they're just jealous, Cole. The fact of the matter is, when you look and perform like Peyton Royce does, you should absolutely have a high opinion of yourself. Oh, man. And she's back in the ring now. Oh, what a knee. And Peyton Royce is fading fast here, guys. That's over at this point. Mickey James seizing the moment that time. And it's Mickey James making a move. Oh, she turns it around. She just keeps using that. Hey, wouldn't you? Cover for the championship! Not only has Red helped Mickey James ward off retirement, they're now the new women's tag team champions. To win this match under the pressure they faced and do it in enemy territory under the Iconics rules is truly impressive. Honestly, I think a lot of credit goes to Red and her list. Someone said it before the match, that list is a powerful motivational tool for Red. Yeah, that someone was me, Corey. Nah, it couldn't have been you, it probably was cold. And that's how Mickey James went from being a hero and mentor of mine to more than that. She was now my tag team partner and more importantly, my friend. Oh, that's nice. But aren't you skipping over a pretty important part? How about we move on? Don't you want to talk about when you were on the cover of WWE 2K25? I do, but hang on a second. Earlier you put me on blast for having some trivial goals. So now it's my turn to call you out for a time when you let the list steer you down a questionable path. This is a night to remember our careers, good and bad. Fine. If you want to talk about it so much, then you tell the story. Okay. After they became tag team champions, it turned everything around for Mickey. She even ended up earning a SmackDown Live Women's Championship opportunity against Kyrie Sane. The unbelievable streak continues! Mickey James is now one half of the tag team champions in your new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this. Somehow, Mickey continues to defy the odds. It's like every time she's back into a corner, she somehow finds a new way to escape. Congratulations, Mickey. You earned every bit of this. Like you've been a little off lately. You're moody, quick to lash out, overly judgmental about my decisions. It all sounds like typical me. Maybe those weren't the best examples, but I've known you long enough to realize when something's bothering you. 
Well, to be honest, I'm kind of getting impatient. I mean, teaming with Mickey has been fun, but I never thought it would last this long, and I definitely didn't see her singles title run happening. Now I'm basically waiting for someone to beat her so I can go after the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I've been dying to cross that off. Some might say you're a bit too focused on the list. Who's some? Are you some? Look, if you want my advice, I see two ways for you to get what you want. But the first option wouldn't be very honorable. What do you mean? If you and Mickey were to somehow lose your tag titles, then Mickey would be forced to retire and vacate her women's title, leaving you free to pursue it. Option number two, the more straight-up way of doing things, would be for you to tell Mickey exactly how you feel and challenge her to a match for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship, potentially crossing that off the list. But if you beat her, you'd also lose the tag titles and worse, end the career of your idol slash friend. I don't really love either option. This business forces you to make some tough decisions. But at least you're not choosing between competing in a tag title match or saving your mangled ear like Mick Foley once had to do. No, but if losing my ear was option three, I'd think I'd take it. The alternative is just waiting around for something to happen, and who knows how long that could take. You're right. I guess I should... Hey, Mickey. I need to talk to you about something. It's kind of personal, sorry. We'll catch up later. What's going on? Is everything okay? Yeah, well... Not really. It's just lately... Ugh, I'll just come out and say it. I want your title. And I know what that means for you and for us, but I don't think I can sit back any longer. You know what? I was waiting for this moment. You were? Look, I, I know who you are. What you're made of, what got you here. You're driven to be the very best. And I knew that being tag team champions would only satisfy you for so long. So you don't hate me? No, I get it. I actually respect you for your honesty. I can think of a couple other ways this could have gone down. But if I beat you, it's all over. If it's going to come to an end, and it will, sooner rather than later, I want you to be the one that does it. Besides, none of this would have even happened if it wasn't for you. But with all of that said... I've come too far to just roll over. If you face me for my title, you better be ready for a fight. <laughs> you know me. I wouldn't want it any other way. Introducing the challenger from Melbourne, Australia, B. And introducing the champion from Richmond, Virginia, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Mickey James! We're about to see which woman rules the landscape around here. Months ago, Red essentially resuscitated her idol Mickey James career. Tonight, after issuing her an open and honest challenge, she may now cause it to come to a sudden conclusion. Well, if you ask me, Red's being extremely selfish. She's prioritizing the list and her individual goals ahead of her tag team championship and her supposed friend's career. Uh, you may feel that way, but from all accounts, Mickey James was completely fine with how Red approached her regarding this match. She even said if she was going to lose her title and her career, she'd want it to be to Red. Well, I, for one, will never understand that. Nice. And there's a takedown. Hooked him up. Drop kick from behind. Stop pulling a oh. leg snap. Oh, that's going to hurt. Tear your hamstring. Nice. Oh, incredible height. Showing some quickness. And this match can change that fast. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Holy 
Exploding elbow finds its mark. Ouch. Oh, that was just malicious. Mickey James seizing the moment that time. Wow, she turned that one around. Uh-oh. We're gonna see it. Pow. Not sure what made her think now was a good time for a pin attempt. This is a tough spot to find yourself in, that's for sure. Check their face after that one. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Just ruthless. Oh, able to counter. Oh, huge big boot. Oh, that was just malicious. You only got one. The effects of this match are showing on the champ. She may have underestimated the opposition she'd face tonight. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. She's gaining momentum here, guys. Looks like she's tapped into some unseen energy source. Wow. She's got to remember to get back in the ring before the referee's 10 count. Saw that one coming. And now that one's countered. That was impressive, Michael. Wendy Richter, Trish Stratus, Sherry Martell, Lita. So many great Hall of Famers helped make the Women's Championship the prestigious pro... Mickey James appears to be on her last legs. I'm sorry. Red hits the Mick kick. Is this the end for Mickey James? It's all over. Red is your new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. And as a result, Mickey James' historic career has come to an end. Red ended Mickey's career with her own move. What a true friend. I think it was actually a sign of respect to do it that way. Yeah, it was almost like a tribute. You know, it would have been a good tribute continuing to defend the tag championship and not ending your idol's career. You deserve this moment. A nice gesture from our new champion, Red, giving Mickey James a chance to say goodbye to the WWE Universe. And yeah, no matter how I feel about Red right now, I do want to say thank you to Mickey James. You will be missed. Thank you, Mickey.